Entrepreneurs. Welcome back to The Daily Ride. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about talk to yourself. Our scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Jeremiah 51 verse 33 through chapter 52 verse 16, Psalm 119 verse 121 through 128, Proverbs 26, 27, and 28, and Hebrews 3, 12 through chapter 4 verse 13. We're, again, we're going to talk about talk to yourself. Our scripture is going to come from Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, which says, For the word of God is living and effective, and is able to judge the ideas and thoughts of the heart. Whatever we do, we must not let any lurking doubts go unchallenged. Pascal said, Doubt is an unhappy state, but there is an indispensable duty to seek when we are in doubt. And thus anyone who doubts and does not seek is at once unhappy and in all the wrong. How do we go about resolving doubts? One way is to bring them to the Lord in prayer and ask Him to help us overcome them. If prayer does not dissolve them, apply this tactic which Nehemiah adopted, so we prayed to our God and stationed a guard. Nehemiah 4.9 Take this verse of scripture that is in the opposite of your doubt and hold it at the center of your mind, repeating it to yourself until many times throughout the day. Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones once said, have you realized that the most of your unhappiness in life is due to the fact that you are listening to yourself instead of talking to yourself? We must talk to ourselves instead of allowing ourselves to talk to, to us. In listening to our doubts, instead of talking to them, we fail to fall prey to the same temptation that caught Adam and Eve off guard in the Garden of Eden. The order of creation was stood on its head for the first human pair allowed themselves to be dictated to by the animal world in the form of a serpent. When in fact they were to be put into a position to dictate it. Don't let your doubts dictate to you. Turn the tables and dictate to them. Talk to them with the words from the Word of God. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, help us to, to never be unplussed. For in you there are ways to overcome every problem. Drive the truth I have learned today deeply into my spirit so that I am able to apply it whenever I'm faced with doubt. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, for further study on this subject, look at Genesis chapter 3, Psalm chapter 53, verse 5, and James chapter 1, verse 6, which says, and, well, and keep these two questions in mind. What was Satan's strategy? And two, what did Adam confess? Something to really think about, something to take us deeper in our walk with the Lord. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride, and I hope to see you on the next trail ride.